Hi Smita. Hi Kiva. How's the day going? <laughs> day is good. It's a Friday. We are back. Yes. <laughs> So I think a big hello to everyone. Smita and I are back here for our fourth episode. Uh wow, it's already been four episodes. It is the fourth one. Fourth. We are here for our fourth episode on coaching gapshap with Smita and Kiva and today we are going to be speaking about gratitude. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, just a disclaimer that it's not about, you know, it is coming from the space of some uh, you know we being as experts it's more about how are we experiencing a gratitude and you know what's been our journey with gratitude absolutely and i really like how you're smiling as you're sharing that <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you know sometimes um, these the, if you google gratitude you like i think you will get so much information on it and it's really not like you know we are some kind of an experts who's done some big research but i think both of us are practitioners of gratitude and all we've come uh, for is to share how this actually the experience the practice of uh, gratitude is, is serving us absolutely so what's smita been a moment of gratitude for you since let's say a few days or from today or from any point <laughs> in the week <laughs> Ah, okay. I think you know when we when we try to balance few things. Uh, some days we are able to be productive. Some days we are less productive. Some days we are uh, you know able to give time and attention to wh- whoever around us needed. Some days we are not. So so all of this right? Like we are. We are some days it is possible. It is not. So I think. Um, i have that gratitude uh, for for both you know the days where i have been able to be productive and and also not so productive yeah uh, maybe some days my kid need kids needed some attention um and i could not give right but it's not like i was being hard on myself i think just having that moment uh, with them and and trying to compensate i think that's that's what i'm uh, having that gratitude for this being organically <laughs> yeah and also to say that also for gratitude for moments like where let's say work wasn't a priority or you know something else was a priority and it's okay like you know at times we think that oh my god i didn't do enough you know but then mm-hmm. to have spend that special moment you know uh, with your loved ones so yeah, yeah. what are yeah, you so grateful <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, and I, I, I was thinking of so many different instances, like from small things, right? Like, uh, like when you get up in the morning, like you are really lucky, right? That you, you are in this, uh, world, and like there's another day to look forward to, to make amends if there, there been anything, you know, that you think, uh, you could have done differently. Uh, I was just thinking about like even the small things, right? Like a lot of things that I personally sometimes end up taking for granted. like let's say my parents or spending time with my dog <laughs> you know so i'm just thinking that there are so many like small small moments that actually add up if you look around that actually bring a smile right and it's a blessing mm-hmm. in uh, so many ways to have it uh and i think one of the moments that i was thinking about was uh, you'll recall when we were driving certain promotions uh, last week and i remember reaching out to the team and uh you know everybody jumped in and everybody was like oh yeah i'll share yeah. it here you know this is what i'll do i'll speak to you know somebody i know or put it on the group so i just felt this moment that oh wow yeah like you know this feels special it be mm-hmm. people jumping in people taking ownership driving things and yeah so i'm just thinking there are so many different 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 moments uh but yeah i think the most important is uh, just to know that you know there there's goodness around and there is yeah it's a blessing to have that space So. yeah absolutely it's like uh, when you see that support around like you know you are gangu about something and you see that yeah. equally uh, you know that equal support from uh, the other yeah. side then that, that ex- excites you and, and exactly <laughs> wonderful and you know this makes me actually just think that you know it's it's uh, it's i think it's it's easy and uh, it is possible when when things are good and nice to have that gratitude like, like i'm just wondering when 
but it's a challenging situation right like um it's it's very difficult it's hard people are not getting uh, you know uh, as what you are going through nobody at home gets it or at work gets it or it's like you know you are, you are in that challenging uh, situation how in those moments uh, do you think like you know how do you handle like how do you see gratitude and do you do you see the importance of it then yeah, that's very interesting uh it got I, i got reminded of this quote i don't remember it verbatim but uh, like like for a fulfilling life right like it's it's important to have that gratitude for things that you have in your life but also the things that you don't you know or the things that you did not want because both have equally added up to you being where you are today so i think i was just thinking that yeah sometimes challenges do seem like you know you're stuck and you don't know how to come out of it but there is something in it right and i also think many a times certain things feel challenging because maybe you've not learned the lessons that you're supposed to learn or uh, and these i know like at times when you're in the middle of the challenge it could look like uh, you know it just sounds very intellectual but why does it happen that in retrospect when we look back we realize oh but i learned so much and i learned this you know so i think it's just about switching that uh, uh, outlook and accepting that even in this moment there is learning and what i personally try to do uh, and i think it's something that's also come to me only after i got into the coaching practice that actually is even in that moment try to see like for something that is good like when you're going through a tough time let's say you got a text from an old friend who just said i thought about you you know maybe they don't even know the problem or it's not connected directly but there is a blessing that's come you know in that moment or let's say a family member saw that you're going through a tough time and they prepared your breakfast you know and they're like oh okay you know it's ready don't worry you know yeah. so i think yeah and even as i'm sharing i'm realizing how it always comes down to such small things which actually are not so small you know like the gestures that <laughs> very very so, like very profound <laughs> very shared yeah it i also feel like uh, through the coaching practice there were so many moments when uh, i felt such deep sense of gratitude for the people who were a part of the like the space the cohort right because i remember early on when we started practicing peer coaching like you were opening up in front of so many people who you probably had just met for like a few days or few weeks but for everybody to hold that space for you uh, and contribute to your learning by being authentic but at the same time empathetic you know i don't know like that's something that was very special that i experienced and it makes me feel like if it can exist in that space i'm sure it can exist in more spaces be it within teams within families within friends within cousins you know and yeah like you know a simple act of somebody listening to you deeply you know it shifts something inside yeah. so yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so nice it's like uh, i think uh, you know when i reflect on this and i think that uh, you know, where where does this come from right like where does gratitude come from and i think um, you know when we have the respect uh, respect for the other um, and just put ourselves in their shoes like you said right like empathy it's it's like if you are able to um, connect with the person from where they are right now i think that gratitude is is very natural i mean it's not like an effort and uh, it's also not uh, you know for the purpose of reaching with some perfection right like reaching to a goal with some kind of a perfection but reaching to a goal with with a with a uh, you know mindset of wholeness yeah yeah wow so, <laughs> You remember Smitha a few days back I was telling you uh, that I didn't know the meaning of you know meta like much meta you know like I was saying the user of the what does that mean then I checked yeah. online and you know like how there's like like this deeply rooted you know universal uh, respect and love for another being you know yeah. so what you shared like res- like resonated with that it's like much meta Smitha <laughs> <laughs> thank you and right back to you <laughs> the, so you know what do you do uh, like you know in, in your daily routine do you do anything to practice that you it's very interesting you won't believe i had a coaching conversation two, two three weeks back uh, where i was the client and like my a cohort member was the coach and uh, i was just telling her that at times like i observed that 
you know, it's very easy for me to get stuck in a pattern of, let's say, a negative thought process. You know, even mm-hmm. though, like, let's say, you'll come out of it and you'll be positive eventually. But I wanted to, I, I told her that I wanted to break out of it faster. You know, so like, how do I not even get into that space and hold, you know, like pause even before you enter it or like give yourself a little bit of like breathing space and then you come out of it faster. And I remember what came out from that conversation was just feeling gratitude, you know, like how this one uh, shift, if I can make in my life of uh, being grateful, more, being more grateful to uh, the blessings and to the things that don't sometimes work out in your favor like how we shared a while back, things could shift. So I told her, like, okay, I'll put a challenge that I'm going to, you know, write down like things that I'm grateful for uh, in my journal. And I did it as well. And I actually observed that it started shifting the way I was viewing things because otherwise it's like you end the day thinking about probably things that are still left, things that are still incomplete or, you know, the lack attitude that, oh, this isn't done or this much is done. I'll do it tomorrow mm-hmm. versus saying, oh, what is it that I did today? What is it that I learned today? You know, even something as simple as, uh, you know, let's say you looked at the sunset, even feeling grateful that you could have that, you know, you had the luxury to pause and to do that. So, yeah, that is something that I, I did. I'm not doing it right now. Like I said, I'll do it for 21 days and I'll try what, and I'll see if something shifts. And I do think like things did shift in the way I was viewing things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you see that. <laughs> I'm more grateful and more. I don't know. <laughs> you always, uh, you know, exhibit that. I mean, I, I have, always seen you just uh, getting better every day like I'm learning so much from you in terms of you know, the energy much that you bring <laughs> that's become like my favorite <laughs> yeah absolutely what about you so, um, so uh, I think you know the I have a morning ritual where um, there is a small prayer that I say when I get up and I have like of all the other good things that I have taught my kids. The one thing that I have taught is about this, uh, you know, the thank you prayer that they say uh, before going to see And just, uh, you know, like we are now talking about that what is that one week, one thing that has happened in the past. Every day that they, you know, before going to bed, they think of, I mean, it's a deliberate question to them. It's become a practice now as to what is that one thing from the day that they feel grateful for. I mean, it can be, I mean, my little one will be very silly with that. Like he'll just say, you know, thank you for the pizza and all that. He would go, <laughs> go into those little details as well. You know, yeah. so if they have hit a six, uh, like, you know, uh, in their match, <laughs> thank you for that ball and I could hit a six. So one thing, right, like the focus yeah. before going to sleep uh, on something that we are grateful for and, and like, uh, you know, your all jiggle that, uh, yeah, statement which says where focus goes, energy flows, and I think that there is a deliberate attempt to put your um, energy in in the positive aspect of it, so that the next morning when you get up, you know you get up with that energy. Wow, and and what's the shift that you like? You said energy. You know, you get up with that positive outlook. I guess, like, is is do you think that that is the biggest shift that you've seen in yourself? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, a, a lot has changed from the time that I have, you know, I've believed in the power of this. I think uh, it, it started with just a simple awareness and then not thinking much, but just applying it, applying it, right? like saying that, you know, I will end my day with this, like just as a as a routine. Uh, and then I started the started seeing the benefits of it. And I think it's in every aspect. It's like as soon as some kind of a negative thought or uh, you know the lack attitude that you beautifully said you know it immediately then shifts to something that will be possible you know the possibility and opportunity uh, 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 the goodness in something which is which can maybe emerge as we are just mm-hmm. you know going through it and maybe it's it's the worst of the situation it's the worst of the experience but there you know that the, the crucial um, moment in that crucial moment just a small reminder that you know something better or something good or something uh, wonderful is going to emerge at the end of it this this sounds like you know that secret ingredient you know like <laughs> yeah. like literally like a magic uh, potion you know like if if you can build that outlook like a lot of things can shift for you i think it builds hope as well uh, and also it makes you feel i don't know somehow like lighter 
because maybe your focus like you said shifts from the heaviness to oh but there is goodness you know yeah. so you know this actually uh, i i got reminded of uh, this place called seva cafe in ahmedabad uh, which mm-hmm. i visited many years back um, so they have a very nice concept of uh, pay it forward so uh, like you basically go there they have a fixed menu and you order uh, whatever you want to eat you enjoy your meal you can see everybody who prepares it's an open kitchen and like people are smiling and happily preparing your meal you know like to bring out the best uh, that they can and you enjoy your meal and after that when the bill comes uh, there's a message that says that your bill has already been paid uh, and you can uh, by like a guest who came before you and uh, you can now make, make any payment for you know in gratitude of the next meal for another person <laughs> you know and it's such a so beautiful, beautiful concept because the first time when i went there i didn't know about that concept we mm-hmm. ate so sort of, we were just waiting for the bill and then when the message came you have this deep sense of like wow <laughs> like you know <laughs> like you said thank you to a stranger yeah. it's like we don't even Absolutely. know who to pay your bill <laughs> but somebody paid your bill <laughs> and then that uh, you know inspires you to you give to the same yeah. feeling to someone else yeah. and that's what i was thinking that gratitude is something which the more you share the more it will spread like it's something yeah. which like you know if i <laughs> yeah it's actually contagious you know and <laughs> the ripple effects i think like you know lead into so many other things kindness positive outlook yeah. uh, you know so it's, yeah. yeah it's very interesting yeah. <laughs> no it uh, it's not like anybody is born with it or you know it's mm. something which can be uh somebody has it or somebody doesn't have it it's not like that like that's my been my uh, experience that you know we need to be deliberately uh, and intentionally cultivating it uh, i think that that's that's what my experience has been sorry you were saying something you were asking something i think <laughs> i was just saying like if if you had to say like what gratitude means to you let's say in a word what would it be or maybe as intense <laughs> <laughs> i think it's a it's a positive power mm wow yeah i really like like the word power right like uh, sometimes we associate it with something which uh, seems like you know mighty and big but it has this soft aspect to it because of gratitude you know and it's yeah. it's powerful because it can shift something within you and then the ripple effects of that around you so Beautiful. what is it for you oh my god i can't think of anything like <laughs> but uh, i i the thing that's coming to my mind is living in the moment i don't know if it draws a connect but i feel the more you can center yourself i feel you're in a position to observe uh, more of the goodness in this moment so yeah, yeah that's what i thought of <laughs> yeah, yeah. so great beautiful i think we can leave the um, you know listeners with some reflective questions uh, as mm-hmm. to maybe you know just taking a moment every day to think for what you're grateful you know what okay. is uh, and how would you like to cultivate like if you're up practicing it that's wonderful how do you cultivate it give also that you know i truly feel that like if if somebody has a, a a good or a better way to practice it like you know please do share with us we would that be that would be amazing yeah 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 wow yeah so we look forward to hearing from you and keep practicing gratitude and keep sharing it with the world around you so we we'll close out then thank you smita thank you thank you kiva thank you all see thank you all you. next week bye bye bye